main issues that maybe you see people it keeps coming up over and over again? Yeah. And especially with teenagers, um, one of the main ones that comes up is the idea of connection. It's they feel like there starts to be a little distance between them and their children. Uh, sometimes they'll say it. They'll say they won't talk to me anymore. You know, they just don't talk. Or the flip side of that is I try to talk to my kids and they don't listen. Right. And But it's all kind of pointing to the quality of that connection with their teenager. And that starts to drift apart as you move into and through those teen years, which if you think about it, it makes sense. I mean, the teenager is seeing themselves as more of an adult. They want some independence. And so they are naturally pulling away a little bit from the parent. And so part of my um, sort of assertion with parents is you have to be very intentional then about trying to maintain and rebuild that connection. And, it, you know, it gets damaged just naturally as the teen grows. And so it's how do you lean into that and rebuild that connection can can really go a long way um, in helping that teenager through the teen years. Because essentially, while they're pulling away, they still need to feel that connection to their parent. And I know you're um, podcast is all focus, focused on people that are either in or have gone through divorce. And as you can imagine, that really starts to damage that connection, especially if you think about in some cases, the child's not living with the parent all the time anymore. And so again, that creates a natural gap or, or distance between them. And so that's one of the most common things that I see pop up is how do I rebuild? How do I reconnect? Um, because it just feels like there's this disconnect there. Um, 